Hello Jackals, in this video I will be showing you my latest project that I'm working on in Unity not the project itself, but how to set it up so you get the camera working with Unity to do that we will be using NuiTrack SDK and you have to check first the sensors or the cameras in my case I'll be working with this one and I've also tested this one these two cameras are basically the same. So if you have one of these cameras, this should also apply to you. But some of the settings that I'll be using will only apply to the Intel cameras. So what do you need? You need new track. You can get a free trial. You have to log in. Once you have that, you can go to the API section and download the SDK and samples. And as you can see, you need to log in to be able to do this. So I have the new track installed. And you can launch it. You have to have the camera connected. In my case, the Intel one. And you have to make sure that you can actually connect it to the PC with a capable USB 3 cable. If it's not capable, then the camera will not be detected. So here you will type in the license key. Well, this one is already activated. But you can try it out. As you can see, I have reactivate option. You can try it out. So this is how that can looks like. And the trial version, as you can see, it is limited to three minutes. And by clicking, you can change from 3D and RGB. So this is how you can know that the camera is working. And you can also test out these options. Once you have new track installed, this may not work yet. So let's go to the Intel SDK. You will need liberal sense. If you go down, you need Intel Real Sense SDK2, and you can find it. At this point, if you click on this link, this will open up. So go be down and you'll have to download it. SDK for Windows 10. So once you have this, you can install the SDK for Windows 10. As for the Unity package, you will first need to download Unity, make an account and log in. So get to this screen. Then you'll need to install an editor. The one that I have installed is this one. At least this is the one that I'm using. And once you have it launched, then once you have Unity installed, you will have to go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package and find the package that you've downloaded. So in this case, I have these two files. I'm not exactly sure if I need this one, but you do need this one. And how you can get the new track SDK. So we'll go to GitHub 3DV, and let's go just to this one. So this is the main one. We'll go to new track SDK. Now this step is always confusing me, but you have to go to this section, download the new track runtime for the platform of the choice. So this is where you download the new track and install it. So this is the app that you install down here. As you can see, it was recently updated. But because my project is working just fine, I won't be updating it. Now to get the Unity package, we have the thread development in Unity. So I'll go to this link, and here you will see the English Rack SDK Unity package. So click on it and download the raw file. And if you download it, this will download the Unity package. So let me import that package. So I'll import the SDK because it's not inside this project yet. You can import everything if you want, including the tutorial files. So I will just import everything. And once you do, the new track tab shows up. As you can see, I have some issues. So the new track on the top disappeared. But let me see if I can open any tutorial files, like this one, basic skeleton. So this one works, play, 
to have skeleton not found because the camera does not detect me and now it does and I'm just sitting in my chair and waving a little bit so this is how I can get the new track integrated with Unity and then you can also make some games like this one so I'll just give you a quick demo so this is the setup the Intel camera I will be one and a half to two meters away this is the initial scene in this scene the new track will be initialized and then this scene will never be run again and that is because if you have a new track in each individual scene you will have some pause because the new track will be exiting and starting again and that is not what you want so this will be the new track loading and it also gives the time for the sensor to pick you up in this case it hasn't picked me up yet because I'm in a strange position so now it's detecting me I can move with the hands left and right I'll just be doing this with the left hand so the camera is stationary as much as it can be and then I can start the game maybe So if you have the new track script in every scene, this loading would take like 5 seconds. And now I can basically walk left and right to control the pedal on the bottom. As you can see, you can also interact with the buttons, it all depends on how you implement them. But by default, most likely, the skeleton or the joints that the skeleton uses will be behind the UI elements, which is what the buttons are. So let me just quickly finish this one, go to the main menu. And we can also exit the app. We can exit the app, but not inside the editor because it's not enabled, but you would quit it like so. Now, if you use the new track, you will have a three minute limit time, but you can go to the pricing to buy it. So as you can see, the new track trial is three minutes. You also have this one, which is 100. Uh, this one is perpetual, meaning you only buy it once. But you can also have this one, New Track AI Online Subscription, which is $50 per sensor. The difference between the two is that this one is locked to the sensor, but you can change the PC, whereas this one is not locked to the sensor. At least that is what it is written under the FAQ. And also, if you do want the hand detection, you do have that option. Now that's it for the setup. Now if you want to develop games that need a depth sensor, you'll actually have to have the sensor and new track installed so you can actually develop something. Otherwise it's not easy to develop if you don't have the sensor on hand. Now the next video that I'll make for Unity will be similar to this project, but I'll just focus on the main menus and the interaction of the buttons. And that's it for this video. If you want to see more Unity content, subscribe and like this video so I know. And until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.